Hey, hey, what's up, motherfuckers? It's your boy Abby Tab back at you with another video. Well, today, we're gonna be talking about my cooking setup for my uh, Appalachian Trail attempted through hike. You gotta say attempted, or else people will jump down your fucking throat. You haven't hiked shit yet, motherfucker. You're attempting it. You're not through hiking it, so fuck you. I'm not going to let's fuck all that shit. Being a former alcoholic, all I have is my goddamn caffeine to keep me sane these days, so I need a fucking at least a hot cup of coffee in the morning. I've gone through a lot of uh, cook setups in the past year and a half, three to be exact. Uh, started off like an asshole with the REI, picked up a Jet Boil Mini Mo for 135 fucking dollars. Do you know how many goddamn Pop Tarts you can buy for 135 dollars? Jesus Christ, it's a goddamn lot. I bought the Jet Boil with the intention of cooking in it. I didn't really do that. I did it for a little while. I was a pain in the ass. I don't like cleaning up the fucking pots. I'm a lazy son of a bitch. So that's why I switched to titanium. This here is the uh, Snow Peak Titanium Trek 900, I think it's called. Yeah, about a 900 fucking milliliter pot. Way overkill. I wanted the 700 milliliter, but they didn't have it at the time I bought this, so I went the 900 because I'm an impatient son of a bitch. It would be convenient if you're one of those a-holes that uh, needs a hot beverage when they're eating their dinner. I eat my hot dinner with a cold beverage. The only time I'll have a, a hot drink at night is right before I go to bed. I'll have my hot chocolate tea, coffee, whatever. So I'm not needing to boil fucking all this water in one shot. This lid I, I got for it is an aftermarket lid. The lid that comes with this Trek 900 is a pain in the ass. It's one of those little frying pan lids. What are you going to cook? One goddamn fried egg that's going to stick to the goddamn pan anyway? Bullshit. Snow Peak, you fucked up with that lid. This here is made by Four Dog Stoves. If you're not familiar with them, it's just this old timer builds this shit in his garage. If you want to check these lids out, I'll link his uh, website in the description below. So, ditch that one, or this one. This is the original. <laughs> anyway. This one came in the mail today. This is by Tokes. This is a 700 milliliter pot. This is the size that's perfect for me anyway. For just my needs, just boiling one uh, serving of water with two cups of whatever for a, a pasta side, ramen noodles, whatever. Comes in this nice little fancy stuff sack, which is better than the one this came in. You see, this one doesn't have a stuff sack anymore. That fucker ripped after like three uses. It was a, it was a flimsy piece of shit. This stuff sack's real nice. It's got a nice little cinch cord on it. Uh, keeps it nice with the lid on there. You don't need a rubber band and shit for it, but uh, I can already see some things that are gonna be a pain in the ass, mainly the lid again. I don't know what it is with these fucking stove companies or these pot companies. They don't wanna make lids properly. This little fucking triangle thing they got on here, I can see this pot getting really fucking hot on a fire or a stove, more so a fire, and then trying to reach your goddamn arm into the fire to lift this little fucking flimsy piece of shit off. You're gonna burn your goddamn delicate man fingers. I don't care who you are. You're gonna need a stick. You can probably stick your spork in there to lift this fucking uh, lid off the pot, whatever, or just take it out the fire with your uh, your bandana, let it cool off, and then you can drink from it. But titanium gets hot as shit. It is what it is. But you pay the price for as light as it is. It's definitely worth the uh, it's weight in gold. Anyway, so the difference between this, obviously, the the milliliters. This is a 700. This is a 900. You can see the height's the same, but the width is definitely different and uh, this one fits a hell of a lot better in my pack than this one. This one's a hell of a lot more bulky. I just find, I couldn't find a good place to fit it in my pack. It was always jammed outside or in my back or whatever. So this thing will help uh, as far as storing in my pack. It'll take up less space. The handles on this thing, I would like them to be a little bit longer, but they do the trick and they do lock, which I, I really dig. They stay in place where this one's a little more flimsy. They do lock in place, but they're not as good. Um, does have markings on the outside and the inside, marking you up to uh, 500 milliliters or 16 ounces. I don't know why I just said that. I don't measure shit. I pour water in, hope for the fucking best. All right, so going inside the pot, fits everything nice and neat in there. My stove's on top. This here is the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. Um, I never had the one. I, like I said, my jet boil had the automatic igniter on it, and that's what I use, um, but, I've used this thing on four trips now, I think. Um, it's loud as shit is the only downside to it I can see. And these little mechanical arms, I can see when it gets cold as shit and wet. I see, I can see these things being stiff as hell. That's what she said early in the morning. The only thing I've noticed is when you take the gas can off this to fold this arm in, you gotta crank it back a quarter notch to close it. So when you're taking your gas off or putting your gas back can back on, just make sure when you open this thing up, close it all the way up before you put your gas on or else you'll fucking get gas in the face. That's happened to me a couple times. Just remember to crank this thing all the way off before you put your gas can back on. But also inside my pot, many big letters is all you really need. Even if this thing runs out of fuel, as long as you have a spark, it can still light 
your uh, your stove, your canister stove is with just a spark. I've this happened to me before. Um, and then inside, obviously, it'll fit a small 100 gram uh, fuel can in it. Also, in the bottom of my pot, I keep a little REI pack tile just to wipe up. I, like I said, I don't cook in this thing, but it is nice to get extra water or whatever. You might have a little bit of shit in there uh, just to wipe it out. This thing is nice and fleece. It's better than a bandana, I found as far as wiping the pot out, so. All right, moving on. Now, what the hell are you gonna keep all your food in? Mommy ain't gonna be out there on the trail if I can buy any groceries, so put your big boy pants on, go to the fucking Dollar General, the Ingles, or fucking Kroger's, or whatever the hell, and buy your Snickers bars, and your ramen noodles, and your pasta size, and all the other bullshit backpacking food that you're gonna need to sustain yourself on the trail with. Since I've given all the rest of my goddamn money to Z-Packs, I might as well give them some more. This is Z-Packs uh, bear bagging kit. I could have bought a goddamn house in Fiji for as much money as I've paid Z-Packs in the last couple months. I think it's 15 liters, more than enough room for like four days worth of food. I'm sure you can fit more than that, but it's got a nice little Velcro, Velcro closure. And it's got these little tabs on it, which I really dig. Inside the bag, they also give you the, uh, the Z-Line with it, a little rock bag, so you can uh, sling this son of a bitch over a tree, but it comes with 50 feet of Z-Line. Also comes with this little fucking minuscule carabiner, which is all you really need. Uh, to attach your bear bag to the line and sling it over the goddamn tree. Since I won't be staying in shelters, I'm gonna have to sling this thing over a fucking tree every goddamn night, which I'm not really looking forward to, but it is what it is. I don't want no fucking gerbils or mice or whatever the fuck else, raccoons getting in my shit, so. Inside my food bag, I keep my spoon so I don't fucking lose it. This here is made by Optimus. It's the Optimus Titanium. It's got the gritty uh, handle on it for extra grip, you know what I mean? It's got the smooth bowl on it. Focus, bitch. There you go. You got the smooth ball on it so you're not grinding your fucking teeth like a goddamn badger. Nice long handle in case you're uh, one of those uh, trust fund kids and you can afford mountain house meals. You'll be able to dig on down to the bottom of that son of a bitch. I don't have to worry about that, but in case I want to steal a mountain house from one of you sons of bitches, I can dig down to the bottom of the bag with this fucking spork. There you go. Alright motherfuckers, well, that's my cook set for the 18 next year. Hope you got something out of this video. I'm not one of those educating motherfuckers, so if you want the specs on all this shit, look it up your goddamn self. I will tell you, this shit is light as hell, it's expensive as hell, but it fucking works, and that's good enough for me. If you want, hit me up on Instagram, the link's down below, I'm always posting shit on there. Uh, subscribe to my channel, follow me on the 18 next year. This is your boy Ivy Tat, we'll holler at you motherfuckers later. I'm out. Ah, the meatloaf! Shit!